Well, we have a brand new heir. We could make them an environmentalist, but no, instead we're going to make them a financier, as I will, of course, train my child. Oh my goodness, my child! Um, <laughs> you are. You look like a ghoul from Fallout. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today, welcome into the fantastical world of Tropico 5. That's right. What brings us to the wonderful world of Tropico 5? Well, I'm here today to not just showcase how much of a fantastical and wonderful dictator I'd make, I'm also here to demonstrate how to create infinite quantities of wealth using an exploit that I'm sure no one will expect. It's going to be fantastic, it's going to be cheesy, and of course the developers 100% never intended this to happen. So make sure you're sat back, relaxed in your comfy Caribbean hammock, you have a nice warm cup of imported Yorkshire tea gold in front of you, and of course you've saluted the queen who will probably be ruling over your island. And heck, if you're feeling especially fantastic, you can even like the video. Now without further ado, let's dive into a brand new game of Tropico 5. We're going to start brand new sandbox map and we actually need to create a brand new dynasty so we're going to create the brit dynasty and this is going to give us our first ruler who is um whose name is going to be jesus brit okay jesus brit i'll go for i'll go for jesus brit sure this sounds fantastic now you can basically have whatever ruler you want to really pull off this exploit but if you want to do it quickly pick up the administrator this bad boy allows you to build service buildings 10 percent cheaper this is fantastic because trust me we're going to be building a lot of service buildings now let's also put ourselves up in a nice suit. Oh, look at this fantastic stuff. Oh my goodness, just look at this. It's Jesus Brit, ladies and gentlemen. He's fantastic. He's going to be perfect. And so we actually need to choose our island that we're going to be starting on. Now, uh, we can pick any island whatsoever, but generally speaking, we want to pick a big island. Now, we're going to pick Ila in Norme because it is the biggest island that is available. We'll also have a starting population of 200. Why not? Starting money, we'll crank that down to 2,000. And we'll just leave everything else on normal. It doesn't really make a difference. Now, of course, the most difficult victory by money is 1 million, and so, you know what, we'll also put a goal of making 1 million, but the minor issue is that I will probably make 1 million before the game really expects me to be able to make 1 million. Now, without further ado, let's just throw ourselves into a brand new game. Oh, wait, not modern times, we're starting the colonial eras. That's right, we'll stay loyal to the queenie. Fantastic. Now, welcome to our lovely island. It's nothing too fancy at the moment, it's just a lovely gigantic mega palace, where, you know, we live with our incredibly fantastic honor guard. Then just down the road is a gigantic corn plantation. There's a few lovely country houses for some peasants. And then most importantly, a shack, because every good society needs a shack or two. Now, our island population of 200 immediately won't have many homes, because we only have enough homes here for like 50 people, so there's going to be a lot of shack very shortly. But the thing is, we also need to make money. Now, the traditional way of making money in this game would be to build a couple of mines on this iron and coal deposit, maybe get a few more plantations going to grow some food, maybe some cash crops. Like, for example, we could grow healthy bananas, lovely tasty chocolate, or the spawn of the devil itself. Naturally, we're not going to be touching any coffee. Coffee is illegal. So instead, we actually need to start making money via alternate means. And luckily, thanks to a handy little DLC called Inquisition, Tropico 5 adds this very fantastic money building here called the Inquisition. Now, the Inquisition is a very simple building. It's a great big old church, ladies and gentlemen, and nobody actually expects it. So we'll just play that bad boy down and get it built. Now the lovely teamsters are running along in their fantastic puritan looking clothings uh, to start construction work on my lovely gigantic inquisition building. Oh it's going to be beautiful. Anyway the inquisition has now just been absolutely wonderfully constructed by our builders. Glorious stuff indeed. We just need to build all of the scaffolding and then wha-bam! Check out this lovely inquisition. Now the inquisition is a very unique place. Its main job is to basically control all of the factions on your island. In the early game we just have royalists and then hippies who want to be free from the royalists and so this building allows us to persecute factions that we dislike which is you know fantastic however this building also allows for something slightly unique because as soon as you build it you can actually pay for this lovely upgrade here sell indulgences what does this mean well the inquisition provides profits depending on the number of religious buildings on the island that's right the more churches you have the more pleased the inquisition is the more money they will summon out of thin air and just give to you now, we might live on a hellscape when most of the population is starving and living in shacks, but in this lovely hellscape, we have a gigantic inquisition building, which now wants us to build large quantities of churches. Now, we could build any religious building, but we're actually going to be very specific and build the cheapest religious buildings, the lovely Catholic mission. And we're just going to build as many as feasibly possible. We're just going to put six Catholic missions down right here, and then another three, so there we go. We're up to 10 Catholic missions just right there, and we'll get all of them constructed 
constructed, we are also going to need to invite foreign workers. Otherwise, you know, we're not actually going to be able to run the Inquisition correctly. So there we go. The Inquisition is now built. Foreign workers have been invited and will arrive to the island. And we've now started construction of our lovely Catholic missions. At the same time, our population is starting to decrease. This is because people die. Uh, generally because 73% of the people on the island are actually homeless. Now, with our first church actually built, this is where the fun begins. Because we can now actually start making money off of these churches. Now, one thing you want to do is to make sure that all of your churches have the lowest budget possible because ultimately we're going to have a lot of them. We don't want them to be very costly. But for every church we have, the Inquisition is going to start giving us more and more money. Oh, and speaking of the Inquisition, we have a brand new steam paddle boat coming with the free immigrants we actually need to get this Inquisition building up and running. So here comes our lovely paddle steamer and our free lovely immigrants will arrive and give us some amazing bonuses. And there we go, the free new foreign workers have arrived. Oh, and look at them in their amazing Inquisition garbs. It's Gabriel Benjamin and Benito Valdez. Okay, now they live in shacks, but don't worry, they'll be upgraded out of shacks very soon. And you've noticed that immediately the Inquisition building has turned a profit. This is because we have two lovely Catholic missions on the island and each of those buildings provides $250. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, now we have a third Catholic mission up and running, which is fantastic. That now means we get an extra revenue of $750. But of course we need more. I actually need these construction sites, you know, being worked on. You know what I think we could actually do with building more of? More construction offices. They're really cheap, actually. So let's just get more of them. Now, who's this? Oh, it's the revolutionary's leader, Carisi Gutierrez. She's unemployed, broken. For some reason, she thinks we're okay. Apparently she suffers from low faith. Have you seen the amount of churches we have here, Carissa? There are like four churches almost completed right here. <laughs> There's a gigantic Inquisition temple. How would you need more religion than this? Oh dear, and apparently uh, Jesus Brit has been a little bit of a cheeky sausage and consequently there's been an unexpected pregnancy uh, and so he will quickly become my new heir and so I mean we could pay to keep things quiet and lose 5,000 or we could organize a quick wedding and build a new Catholic mission in nine months well guess what we got a new Catholic mission coming in probably the next two months or so this is fantastic let's get a new Catholic mission built and that means we'll also get ourselves a brand new heir well we have a brand new heir we could make them an environmentalist but no instead we're going to make them a financier as I will of course train my child oh my goodness my child um <laughs> you are you look like a ghoul from fallout well my era brit she's just she's fantastic exactly the way she is splendid so she grants a natural income of 100 per year which is lovely and her manager effect is to increase the building's revenue by five percent we'll actually make her the manager of the inquisition and this is actually going to make us more money as we can see we're now making 1250 from the inquisition and it's about to be increased even further as we now have six churches up and running that's right six churches. Here comes the money. Now we have got more Catholic missions than ever actually constructed and we're about to get up to 10 Catholic missions, each of which of course provides us with $250 each. Right now with 10 churches down, we should be making $2,500 each tick and yep, that is exactly what we're making. $2,500. Lovely stuff. So logically, the next thing we need to do is just build even more churches because now that we're making $2,500, that's a pretty decent quantity of money, but of course it could be improved. So I'm going to build a further 10 churches. Actually, no, I can do even more than that. Okay, I've now got a further 12 churches under production, and they should more than double our natural income. At the same time, I will also build ourselves just a little tavern because it turns out most of the people on the island are, you know, cripplingly depressed. So I think a small little drinking establishment should make them a little bit happier. So I'm going to build it, and there we go. This should make them happy. Meanwhile, we're getting more and more Catholic missions built, and it seems our extra revenue is now up to 3,000 with all of our churches. Which is lovely stuff. This is splendid. I suppose I do also need a mansion for our lovely Inquisitors because, you know, we don't want our Inquisitors to be sad considering, you know, they're pretty much the backbones of our entire economy. These three Inquisitors here generate all of the revenue that our island actually has. So let's just quick build them a mansion. And well, bam, there we go. Wealth required to move in rich and luckily the wealth provided is rich so they should all be able to move in here. All right, now we're up to about 30,000 in the bank now because, you know, we have so many Catholic missions uh, and so we're just going to build even more. It's just going to be Religious Street where you'll be able to continue 
continuously go to every single church imaginable. There we go, just a whole bunch more churches. You know, we can even fit them in behind the Inquisition building. So let's get a couple more in back here. And we'll also actually implement a tax cut, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to actually improve the approval of all of the citizens on the island. Uh, but of course, it doesn't really eat into our bottom line because most of our revenue comes from the gigantic Inquisition building. Four people died from starvation last year. Look, I'm a good dictator. Stop telling me. It's, I don't care when people die. It's not my fault. You know, they, they all fell over. Now, the thing is, it doesn't actually matter how many people are visiting this church. We don't get revenue off of that. It doesn't even matter if the churches have staff inside of them. All that matters is that a church building exists and then we're able to gain money from the Inquisition. Now, this building was added into a DLC, which I think sells for about three pounds or something like that. And it is the most overpowered infinite money building in the game. And it was simply added in because evidently the poor intern who was in charge of designing it has absolutely no idea how to properly balance a building like that. And just go, sure, yeah, all of the religious buildings, they can just provide all of these insane bonuses. Right, now I've also laid out plans for even more Catholic missions so that we can increase our revenue further. And apparently the revolution wants me to build more Catholic missionaries to uh, aid in their revolutionary quest. And I mean, we're gonna build them anyway, so I'm happy stealing money off the revolution. And there we go, we actually gained some revolutionary support. We could, of course, import educated citizens, but what's the point in that when we can just get 2,000 into our highly illegal Swiss bank account? That's where all the money should go. Now, let me check the almanac and see how people are feeling with regards to religion. Uh, religious happiness is uh, only 28. People are feeling more happy about the crime, safety, liberty, than they are about the religiousness. Have you guys seen how many religious buildings we have available and you're complaining about the lack of quality? Oh my goodness. I give you everything, guys. Look at the amount of churches we have. Look at all of the churches. Anyway, our Inquisition is actually very happy with the amount of religious buildings we have, so they're now giving us $8,500, which is absolutely splendid. Now, it would seem that because we've got such an Inquisition-based economy, the revolutionaries are pretty excited, and they want us to name someone to become the Grand Inquisitor of Tropico. Now, we have a few options. We could make it a dynasty member and gain a nice large amount of Swiss bank account money, make it a revolutionary, make it a royalist. Instead, we're going to make it Penultimo, because apparently we need someone who would look good in a nice red uniform, someone who is not Penultimo. Well, it's going to be Penultimo. <laughs> Presidente, I'm shaking. You're shaking. Everyone is shaking. Oh, wait, no, apparently there's an earthquake. Is that seriously just because I made Penultimo the uh, the Inquisitor? And now there's, now there's an earthquake. <laughs> Eight citizens were killed, one building was damaged, and five buildings were destroyed. No, not the Inquisition building! Okay, right, let's rebuild all. Rebuild all. It cost us 10 grand, but it's okay. We'll get it rebuilt. Quick build the Inquisition building, though. That one's needed for as soon as possible. Right, and there we go. We're getting our Inquisition men back. And fantastic. Whilst most of the Catholic missions aren't actually even staffed, because, you know, we don't have enough educated people to actually run them, we are still able to make 12,500 each day off of them, which is fantastic, because look at that. We now have a $160,000 in the bank. This basically means we're one tenth of the way to actually finishing. Okay, and apparently Penultimo wants me to upgrade the Inquisition so that it sells indulgences, which, you know, we've already got, and this will give us two free Catholic missionaries, which means we've done it immediately. All right, and the construction work on even more of the missionaries is well underway. I will want to send off another exploration squad so that we can actually map out this area of the map and get more missionaries built. And I've just placed down 10 more Catholic missionaries. You know, let's make it 15. Oh my goodness, it's just just so easy to make money in this game. I know how there's like, you know, the logical way you make money in Tropico. It's meant to be that you actually build a working economy. You export coal, you export iron, you turn wood into lumber, you export the lumber. And then in reality, all it takes is an inquisition and a whole bunch of abandoned churches that aren't even stocked. And the inquisition will just summon the money out of thin air. Uh, meanwhile, the island revenue is going great. We're now making 18,000 from the inquisition, which naturally means we just need more Catholic missions. So that's exactly what we're going to be building. All right, and I've got even more Catholic missionaries actually laid down, and we've actually unlocked a constitution if we wanted to, meaning we could actually declare our own independence. And I'm also going to issue a building permit. This is going to increase building construction costs by 20%, but half of those increased costs will end up in our Swiss bank account, which will gain us a lovely quantity of money. Now, we are desperately going to actually need more construction workers on our island, so I think yet more construction officers are going to have to start cropping up all over the place. Oh my goodness, um, I was some tragic news. News. Apparently whilst trying to help the king build the world's largest bonfire with all of the planks we've exported, uh, the king ended up burning himself to death. Uh, consequently, we're going to receive fewer options to extend our mandate, meaning we can't stay permanently locked in here forever. I know that was something you can easily do in Tropico 6, but evidently they don't want you cheesing it completely here. Understandable. 
Oh, and apparently we can now proclaim independence whenever we want. We can just start it. Um, of course, we're not going to do anything like that just yet, because you know our island is wonderful. Now, but just in case, we are going to surround the entrance to our island with a large quantity of guard towers, should you know we ever actually get invaded. Now, we are almost up to around about half a million dollars in the game, meaning we're close to halfway to finishing the end game goal of one million. That's how incredibly well we're doing. It is insane. Right, I'm also going to build a second military fort because I need to get more exploration done. We need to actually discover all of the land around us. After all, one must know the land if they are to build 7,000 Catholic missionaries on the land. Well, I've just laid out the groundwork for even more Catholic missions. This is getting slightly insane, but it is, of course, completely and utterly necessary. And naturally, with more construction work underway, it only makes perfect sense that, you know, we get ourselves down yet another construction office. Anyway, the Inquisition is now up to making us 27,750. If we take a look at our almanac here, we can actually see the increase in our revenue that we've made over the years. As you can see, our domestic revenue has increased dramatically and is now up to 717,000 each year. And pretty much all of this is from top earner of a buildings. This is basically entirely the Inquisition. And because it's a DLC, it's not even properly implemented. So when you click on it, it just says there are no such buildings in Tropico because the game does not ha know how to classify the income coming from the Inquisition. It might be making us almost 1 million a year, but the game has no idea how to comprehend this. Okay, I've now just plotted out another 52 missionary buildings, which combined will give us a lovely income of 13,000 added onto our lovely additional income, which is now up to 37,250. This is very good stuff. Now with only six months left, it's looking like we really will have to actually declare independence. Oh, what a shame. I was really enjoying not having to declare independence, but alas, it seems something we must do. Oh, and apparently our mandate just got renewed by another year. Fantastic. That's all we need, because guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to cross the threshold of making one million, meaning we've beat the economic victory of this game in the colonial era using just Catholic missionaries. <laughs> the entire economy is based around a single Inquisition building, which is surrounded by a completely and utterly abandoned Catholic missionary buildings. This is how? How can a game designer go, mm, yes, we could create a stable economy around this system here. Yes, this makes perfect sense. I've seen economies function just like this. It's madness. It's complete and utter madness, and I love it. Right, and now I've just built even more potential Catholic missionaries. This is going splendidly. We're making such a lovely quantity of money, and I completely missed it. We've won million dollars in the bank. We've completed the economical victory, which is meant to be a challenge, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. This game is meant to be, at least to some degree, you know, a little bit difficult in parts, maybe. But no, no, there is no challenge, actually. Oh, and we have one month left, and we are not going to get our mandate extended, which means it is time for us to declare independence, ladies and gentlemen. We have really loved serving the crown, but alas, it must all come to an end. So, proclaim independence now. Now, we do have an option. We can simply buy our freedom for $20,000, which is absolutely nothing, or we can just say, let them come, which I think is the fun thing to do. So, let's summon them over. Here comes the Redcoats, ladies and gentlemen. Look at them. They've come to drink our tea, which is all fantastic and wonderful. But luckily, you know, we have our gigantic wall of guard towers here, which um, should be able to defeat even the finest royal colonial infantry. Ah, fantastic stuff. Good luck trying to defeat us, you majestic sausagey Brits. Look, they're making a beeline up our lovely Church Street, but they can't get to us. Oh, no, 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 they can't. We're unstoppable. Well, it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stop the Brits from invading your island and you want to declare independence, simply build around about 700, you know, Catholic missionaries and then encase yourself in a wall of guard towers. It just works. Oh, and we have now entered into the World Wars. So we have now entered into the World Wars era, which is much more exciting for us. It is now January 1914, and we have a few options for our lovely constitution. Now, I propose that we go for a theocracy so that religious buildings lower crime in their vicinity because we have a lot of religious buildings. Next up, I propose that, of course, only wealthy citizens vote, and for armed forces, we shall have a professional army of militias. Lovely. And, okay, well, with all those religious buildings, if we were to take a look at, say, um, what crime looks like on our island. Oh my goodness, it's pretty much perfect. There's a small spot of crime here where we don't have 700 religious buildings, but that's fine. We can we can deal with that. We'll build one police station to deal with all of that crime. Oh, this is amazing. So welcome to the amazing World Wars. Uh, we can buy community aid for all of these buildings to increase the housing quality of residents in the vicinity by 10. Uh, this is fine. Now, what we're going to do is actually try and hire ourselves some more workers for our library, as I want to start beelining our way through the research 
tree as soon as possible so that way we can make our way through to the glorious bank building which allows us to generate money based off of our interest and now apparently we're making 51,000 just from our inquisition alone this is splendid stuff indeed oh and also we can upgrade all of our lovely military forts so that way they actually have modernized weaponry fantastic stuff now we're up to 1.4 million in the bank and I'm just going to let all of these lovely Catholic missionaries build themselves and uh, then I want to see how much money we're able to make <laughs> who knows how much it's going to be the sky really is the limit right well we're now up to 2.3 million in the bank and uh, speaking of which we've actually managed to research ourselves a bank now banks are relatively expensive at 11,000 each but what makes them special is that they accrue interest based on what is actually in your treasury now you're only allowed to build four of them but this should be fine for us as you know what we have a large amount of money stored away so we should be able to make a decent quantity of cash now I will simply invite as many foreign workers as necessary and well now every single bank is making us 1143 and there is no way to improve that apparently that is just the maximum we are allowed to make which is fine because you know the Inquisition is making us 81,000 each month which is much much better oh you know we've got an election happening soon which is fantastic we're going to win of course because we've 72 percent approval which is incredible and just a shining beacon of how fantastic we are look at that jesus brit 67 percent. oh no it's gone down well, who do i need to bribe right, you're a rebel let me bribe you so that you like me a bit more oh i think i know why i'm hated so much because the communists hate it whenever i build a new church and i've kind of built you know several hundred of them that's fine i can just bribe their leader a bit there we go just give them a bit of money oh and we can of course fudge the election result sure election results will be adjusted slightly let it happen oh there we go we've won the election fantastic with flying colors as well and we're also going to send an ambassador to say that we will probably sign on with the allies because you know we might as well although i suppose we should do that after i finish building you know just a few more churches just just a few we've we've got enough churches but is it really enough well we've only gone and done it ladies and gentlemen the entire island is completely and utterly just coated with religious buildings look at this lovely map mode and yet still if we go over to the happiness religious happiness is still at 52 there are 626 religious buildings we make an incredible $173,000 per year oh my goodness right you know what let's um let's sign with the allies all right we're gonna go join the allies and um that's fantastic and we can also sign a treaty with the axis well we're not going to actually let the axis you know uh retreat to our island so we're gonna say let them come uh this means they're basically going to try and invade us uh, i'm not too sure where they will actually attack us from but oh it seems the axis have landed on the beach right here come the angry germans they've got a couple of fun squads of infantry and and now a lovely battle shall take place luckily our militia is ready that's right we've recruited peasant conscripts ladies and gentlemen they are not exactly the best fighters they can just lie down on the floor and shoot but they will do a splendid job oh and the rebels are also attacking at the exact same time well it's okay all right well the great combat is now happening we have all these lovely machine guns now opening up on the lovely rebels as well as the german invasion force and um, the battle in the streets is going relatively well it does indeed appear that we are going to win and there we go they've broken they're retreating just the tanks remain now ah uh, just the tanks they've got a lot of health but it's okay we should be able to defeat them nonetheless with all of our lovely peasants run peasant militia throw your bodies into the tanks and slow them down yes oh fantastic glorious stuff one of them is down another one and oh we've only gone and done it we did it ladies and gentlemen we're now in the cold war <laughs> uh we're filthy millionaires well there you have it we've done a fantastic job we make an insane quantity of money per turn just look at our revenue it is incredible we've received a total revenue of 18 million dollars which is just absolutely incredible oh Oh my goodness we're just too good we are just simply too good at this game and well there you have it ladies and gentlemen we have created the ultimate island paradise where we are generating incredible quantities of wealth at a absolutely ludicrous rate anyway if you've enjoyed watching us break tropico and you want to pledge your life to jesus brit then make sure to like the video and do consider subscribing every single person who subscribes will receive a bribe and now that's exactly what you want anyway as always thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen as always a gigantic thank you to each and every one of our amazing patrons whose names are listed on screen now look at these majestic sausages and heck if you sat there wondering what video to watch next look no further than this one on screen now as i'm pretty sure it'll be absolutely perfect for you anyway i'll see each and every one of you in the next one have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now